In this video, we're going to discuss um, some, some basic differentiation rules that are going to help us to find derivatives a little bit uh, quicker, actually a lot of it quicker, than using the definition of a derivative. So we're going to specifically talk about one called the power rule, but we're going to look at some other ones as well. So in this table, you have um, some of the main basic differentiation rules. Um, Any time that you want to find the derivative of a constant term, that is 0. So the derivative of every constant is 0. The derivative of x is 1. The power rule, which is the important one here, the one that you're going to use the most, says that if you have x to some power, the derivative of that is going to be, you take the power and multiply down, so it's going to be n times x to the n minus 1 power. So you, so you multiply the power down and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. That's what that says. Um, that is the power rule. That is a rule that you're going, you're going to use a lot of um, when it comes to finding derivatives. Um, the other three rules here basically say that if you have um, a function that has more than one term, you have a multiple functions added together. So think about like a polynomial. What this basically says is that um, I can just do the derivative of each term separately or of each function separately um, as opposed to doing the derivative of the whole thing altogether. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to think about that as we go through these and just say, well, let's just look at one term at a time and do the derivative of each one of those things. So if the two functions are added or subtracted, that's true. If you have a, a constant multiple out front, you can bring that constant out front and then just do the derivative of that function. So that's going to come into play here as well. Okay, so these are some main differentiation rules uh, for taking derivatives of specific terms. Okay, so we're just going to run through some quick examples here. Um, the first one we have is f of x equals x squared, so we're going to use the power rule here. So f prime of x is going to be, we're going to take the uh, exponent, bring it down, subtract 1 from the exponent, which would make that the first power. So f prime of x equals 2x. Uh, number 2, 8 is a constant, so g prime of x is 0. The derivative of every constant is 0. Number 3 h prime of x. Multiply down the exponent, subtract 1 from the exponent, 4x to the third. Number 4, y prime. I have x to the 1,000th. That's going to be 1,000 x to the 999th power. Okay, 1 over x. So 1 over x, the way you want to think about that is you want to rewrite this. I'm not doing the derivative yet, I'm just rewriting this. I want to rewrite this as um, 1x to the negative first. Okay, so anytime that you have a term on the bottom, uh, a variable term on the bottom, bring it to the top and give it a negative exponent. Um, that will allow you to then use the power rule. So f prime of x I'm going to multiply that negative 1 down, so it's going to be negative 1 x to the, and then I'm going to subtract 1 from the exponent, x to the negative second. I'm going to do the same thing on 6. I'm going to rewrite this at first. So instead of uh, 1 over x to the fourth, I'm going to think of this as x to the negative fourth. So y prime is going to be multiply that down, negative 4 x to the, subtract 1 from the exponent, negative fifth. Um, same thing with radicals. So you want to rewrite the, the uh, variable terms that are on the bottom. You want to bring those to the top and make those negative exponents. If you have radical terms, you also want to rewrite those before you do the derivative. Um, the cube root of x squared, remember, um, uh, if you're doing a radical, you can rewrite that as a fraction exponent. So this is going to be x to the two-thirds power, just rewriting that. Um, the power goes on top, the root goes on bottom. Okay, if there's no number here on your exponent, it would be one-third. Your, your understood power would be one. Your understood root is two, so make sure you know that. But rewrite that first, and then we can use our power rule, g prime of x. I'm going to multiply down the two-thirds, and then I'm going to subtract one from two-thirds. So if you subtract one from two-thirds, you get negative one-third. And then our last one here, we have a polynomial. There are a lot of different terms here, but as we said, all we're going to do is uh, do the derivative of each term separately. 
Okay, and then that's going to be our derivative function. So f prime of x is going to be, so x to the 8th, that's going to become 8x to the 7th, plus multiply the 5 down, I get 60x to the 4th, multiply the 4 down, that's going to be minus 16x to the 3rd, multiply the 3 down, that's going to be plus 30x squared, uh, minus um, anytime it's your linear term, you just get the coefficient, right? So the derivative of x is 1, so the derivative of negative 6x is negative 6. And then the derivative of the constant is 0, so that part goes away. Anytime you have a constant, you do the derivative, that's going to be gone. And there's our derivative. Just do each term separately. You have a an 8th degree polynomial. When you do the derivative, you now have a 7th degree polynomial. In addition to the power rule and all the other ones at the top, um, just a, a, a one that you're going to use here is the natural exponential function. You're going to see this a lot. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Um, combining that with the constant one, if you have something times e to the x and that something is just a constant, that constant is going to stay. So when I go to do this uh, derivative here, the derivative of 2e to the x is going to still be 2e to the x because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x and the constant stays as well. Okay, so the constant doesn't go away if the constant is a coefficient. All right, it's just if it's a constant term. So make sure that you know that. So this, the directions here to find the first and second derivative. Well, our first derivative, the derivative of 2e to the x is just 2e to the x. It stays exactly the same. Um, and then minus the derivative of x squared, I would multiply the 2 down and subtract 1 from the exponent, I would just get negative 2x. The second derivative, f double prime, uh, just means I'm going to now take the derivative of what I have for my first derivative. I'm just going to keep doing the derivative. So the derivative of 2e to the x is still 2e to the x. And the derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2. If you were to do the third derivative, this first term is still 2e to the x. The second term would be gone now because it's just a constant. So the third derivative is just going to be 2e to the x and so forth. Okay, so those are some very basic shortcut rules um, for taking derivatives. Um, that power rule is the most important one. You will use it a lot.